Hi Leo, it's Jess of Bahati Life, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. Um, I want to talk to you about your month ahead. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you're probably watching it, watching this for the month of April and waiting for this reading to hit for the month of April of 2020. However, these readings are definitely timeless. It's the message that you need to hear right now, even if it's mid-month or whatever month of whatever year. So, um, Leo, I want you to know that this reading, we're going to talk about your life first, and then we're going to move into your love life second. And it's just literally what the universe, what the divine wants you to understand and to take from the next 28 to 30 days of your life. So, first things first, Scorpio, I feel like there's... Um, Without me even shuffling these cards or pulling the cards and seeing what's going on, the biggest thing that's standing out to me is this level of um, irritation. It feels like spiritual irritation, but it's registering over to you as anxiety. It makes you feel like you're anxious. It makes you feel, I don't know why the word just came through, incomplete. It makes you feel like you're spinning your wheels. It makes you feel like you're not going anywhere. Spirit is saying um, to me right now before I pull the cards over, or flip them over, that that is simply not the case. Um, it's just a matter of you not being able to see what is ahead of you, what is happening, the way that it, by looking at it, the way that it is happening, if that makes any sense. And even as I'm pulling these cards out for you, I'm doing them totally different than I have the other signs. I actually want to ask what this major issue is for you. Nine of Swords. There's something in your life right now, Leo, that is really plaguing you. And the two cards that are jumping out are the Fool card and the Two of Cups reversed. It's interesting because you might be looking at your love life, or your partnership, your union. It feels like you're battling with, with something. You feel like you're battling with someone. And it feels like it's you're going nowhere. It feels like you want a fresh start. You want a new beginning. You want to have hope and faith and optimism in this connection or in this new life, in this new journey, but it just feels like the odds are stacked against you. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but it feels like whatever it is is not enough. Whatever it is that you're giving or whatever it is that they are it is not enough. It's giving you more anxiety, tension. It's tumultuous. It's swinging from one thing to the next thing. It could be your environment. It might have nothing to do with you. It could be your environment that's around you that is creating circumstances that are very anxiety inducing at the time of me filming this the world as we know it is pretty much put on pause and a hold I don't know Leo if you're wor worried about that and you're worried about your direction or what's going to happen but spirit is literally saying connect with me and you will not have fear anymore you wouldn't look at this as a battlefield you will look at this as you would surrender into my arms right now you would surrender and trust as I'm looking at this, I see the Empress card, but this Empress is the Divine. This Empress is the Universe, and this shell is you. And uh, Leo, you need to be the shell for a minute. You need to be held. You need to surrender. You need to succumb. You need to realize that anytime when you're entering into the unknown territory, you are only entering into territory that is filled with and ripe with opportunities and miracles and new blessings, but you wouldn't know that because all of it is foreign to you. So instead of battling, battling, battling against this and battling internally, really embrace the unknown right now and embrace healing. You will find healing when you look up at the stars. You will find healing when you look at the clouds. You will find healing when you watch the trees blow in the wind because nothing is fighting against the wind. Nothing is fighting against the sky. Nothing is fighting against the cosmos. Everything moves in alignment, um, Leo. And you are learning right now to release that. I'm also smelling sage. I really am getting a really strong sense of sage, and I feel like saging yourself, cleansing yourself, whether you're spraying essential oil, sage, or actually burning sage, will help you to cleanse your energy, but also wake you right back up again and, and remind you of your power and, and remind you that spirit is really looking out for you, really looking out for you. I'm also getting a sense, even as I'm looking at this, this is like the star here. It reminds me of like divine, like divine energy, divine, like, process, and it's all of what you can see, 
all of what you are trying to accomplish, all of what you want to see happen in your life, in your relationships, um, you're like, literally, this is like, if you look at this, there's a, the pregnant woman and her partner. They have gotten to a point in their life and their journey, but maybe she's afraid of giving birth. Maybe she's afraid of this new life, of being a mother, of having raising a child and getting it quote unquote right. So this is just, especially with the Empress energy here, so it has it has that written all over it. But Ten of Cups, Leo, Ten of Cups, you'll be fine. You literally are entering into abundance. You're entering into an abundant land. This is the world. The world is abundant. But I just feel like you're mentally beating yourself up. You're counting all of the coins and being like, well, I, I have seven coins. I need ten to be a success. Seven is enough to invest in to whatever in order to make the 10, 15, 20 coins that is that you see and that you would deem as a success. But you're only looking at it from and plaguing yourself and frustrating yourself with what it is, what it isn't, and how it's making you feel in the present moment. I have cards lying here for you, but I'm not ready to flip them over. Look, spend time focusing on the here and now. This means don't worry about the future. Don't worry about the past. Enjoy the present moment, whatever the present moment looks like. Poised. You are ready. You're becoming more and more ready as time goes on, as a second goes on. But poise means that when you are ready to lift off, you will do it when the time has come, when the time comes. But you don't need to worry about what's going to happen when you take flight, what's going to happen when you put yourself out there. You're poised, you're ready, you're fine. In the, in the arms of, in the eyes of the universe, you're, you're right where you need to be. Look at this. Eight of Swords again at the very top of your reading. Five of Wands reversed and Two of Wands. You're looking at this volcano. You're looking at this thing, this energy that's going to erupt. This this worst case scenario, I'm seeing smoke. I don't know what is about to happen. And last time I've seen something similar to this, it exploded and people's lives were lost or whatever happened, there was a sense of loss. And this says, listen, you don't need to worry about what is going to happen in that volcano. You need to work together with other people in order to prepare or in order, in order to move from one space of the journey to the next space of the journey. That is the unknown. Now, this doesn't mean that you guys freak out and panic. It just means that you surrender into the arms of the, the divine and listen to guidance. This is not me telling you that the worst is to come because I feel like the worst has already happened in your life and past things that have made you so anxious now. If you weren't so and you wouldn't be so anxious if you didn't experience some level of trauma. So it's almost like you're having like PTSD. Like you've seen certain signs of things or you've experienced a sense of lack before or a sense of instability. And it makes you question and panic when you see that things are uncertain. But really spirit is saying that that does not help anything. In fact, we're just sending you signs that we're moving you forward. Yes, in the near past energy, um... Leo, what I'm seeing for you is Page of Wands, Strength Card Reversed, and the Knight of Pentacles. On your own, you do not know everything. On your own, you are you have so much left to learn. Those signs could literally a volcano, right? You you guys look at this and you're like, that volcano is smoking. Nothing is going to explode. In the past, when a volcano smokes, it could explode. It would explode. Maybe it'll explode. Chances are that it might. But it doesn't happen, for some volcanoes, they just start smoking, and it could take years for them to finally explode. So you see the smoke, and you start panicking, you start freaking out, you start having anxiety, when in the reality is, is that it's not that it's impending. It could smoke, and then it could stop smoking. The earth can calm herself once again. But the reality is, is that the cards are clearly telling you that whatever it is that you're anxious about, the thing that is that you're anxious about the most, because you have anxiety written all over your cards, it could be a partnership, a union, where you're like, I haven't heard from him, or she hasn't texted me back, and she's not texting me the same way, and I'm picking up on these this smoke. And the last time I saw this, this was happening. So PTSD flashes in, and you're like, oh my god, the worst case scenario. We're going to fight. There's going to be bad. But the thing is, like, there could be so many different things. And the Page of Wands is brand new energy and so is the Knight of Pentacles. If you look at it, it's what he's observed in the past, but he's he's not a king yet. And he or she is not a queen or a king. So there's still so much maturity that needs to happen. Remember, 
Spirit says that this is where you're ultimately headed is Ten of Cups. Happily ever after, wishes fulfilled, emotional attainment and fulfillment. But you are only looking at where you're at right now, currently, and saying, like, I don't know what's going to happen. The worst could happen. Or maybe you could just surrender into the arms of the universe, the divine, and realize that you are in good hands and that everything is going to be taken care of and provided for. But listen to your intuition. And I almost feel like, Leos, that you listening to your intuition is, is you think you're listening to your intuition, but you're listening to your, your carnal side freaking out and panicking, saying, run, or this is going to happen, this is really bad. I just don't see that. I feel like... With a strength card, you have to come from a space of surrender and compassion for yourself and gentleness and not force an issue and not force your will on someone or force. When you said that, why, what did that mean? It's almost very like attacking. That's how the energy is coming, coming across is, whoa, I didn't even know that I triggered you. I didn't know that you were, that you even noticed that. I didn't know that that was an issue. I didn't know that that was a problem. That's what someone might be saying to you. So it feels like you're fighting with someone and their intention is truly not to fight with you. They wanted to work with you. But in your in your eyes, you looked at it at, and you panicked. And you were prepared to fight. You were prepared to flee. You're, you froze up. It's like fight or flight. Look, Leo, at the base of your reading, we have the Sun card, Ten of Pentacles, and also Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is reversed. But the thing is, is that it's like you have everything, abundance and bounty and blessing that are the root of what is to be attained, what you will receive, what you are, where you're headed, where you're going, ultimately your destiny, right? But you wouldn't even be able to enjoy it because let's say you're with your family right now and you guys are spending quality time together you would and there there's laughter there's joy there's fun there's games or maybe even an opportunity for you to relax and go on a vacation i put it in air quotes because what is a vacation time to slow down to disconnect to unwind to relax and that's what it is that i'm seeing is that you need to relax you could be on vacation and still panicking on the beach of i have to pay my bills this is going to happen what's going to happen here la 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 you're on vacation, relax. Leo, spirit is saying, relax. Empress energy, relax, rest. Nine of Cups says that you, you're you manifesting, but you wouldn't even be able to see the wish happening and appearing because you're so concerned and concentrating on the loss and making sure that everything in your power does not allow that to happen again. And you end up making more suffering for yourself simply by being like, I will not allow that to happen. My heart is my everything and I will not allow myself to be caught off guard. I will not allow my energy to be crushed. I will not allow my hopes to be dashed. You're not going to catch me. Like what's going to happen to our world? What's going to happen to my work? What's going to happen to my life? What's going to happen to my home? All those things. Every one of those things and then some will be taken care of and is being taken care of right now. If I was going to rest in the arms of anyone, I would love I would love this. Easily, effortlessly. Look at her. She's chilling. She's totally one with the universe. She is the universe, but she's also connected to the universe. She's connected with herself, at one with herself, at one with the world. And you are the shell resting in her hand, receiving. But now that I'm thinking about it, a shell is the echo, the home of whatever was living inside of it that left it. So it, even the shell itself is symbolic of what was once abandoned, with, with what was once left behind. And I feel like, Leo, that's what you're struggling and suffering with right now is you're, you're afraid of being left behind. You're afraid of what you had to leave behind in the past, and you just don't want to relive that. You want to find the space that is that you belong, and you do have that. That's where you're going. That's where you're. That's what you're manifesting. You have ten of cups, ten of pentacles, and the sun card. This has belonging and home, and home, like home is where the heart is. That's almost what it is. That I want to say. It sounds really cliche, but it's not this physical brick and mortar. This is your home. It's a feeling of belonging, and you have to embrace that. What if your home is in the hands of the divine? What if your home is sitting by 
the, 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 the shore of any ocean. Okay, so the center of this reading, yes. See, Three of Swords, Hierophant, and the King of Wands. This shows me that you are suffering the loss and you're so accustomed to what was written in your life of loss and suffering and ache. It's what you expect. It's what things have been. It's like rituals and things that you've learned to expect, like a routine. This happens and this happens and this happens and this happens and I am suffered. I suffer because of it. And that is just simply not the case. The universe says that you literally, yes, there's ways that certain things may have occurred in the past, but the universe is not confined to rules in the way that you experience it to be all the time. It doesn't confine itself to express itself in the same way every single time. It, it, it's very flexible, but it's also predictable, but you also have to stay open with it because anything can happen. And I think that that's what's freaking you out is you want to have direction and clarity and purpose. But more than that, you want to be protected for, protected and provided for. You're afraid that you have to protect yourself. You feel like no one's going to protect you. But it's like don't expect human beings to protect you um, so much as much as you can really right now rely on the universe to protect you and to look out for you. And that is the new way that's being written. That is, that's what you can count on, is the universe looking out for you. Maybe you'll have this expectation for people who have dropped the ball on you in the past. It could have been a father figure. It could be an absent mother. It could be a relationship that broke up or a few relationships. And you just kind of expect that when this happens, this falls apart. When there's a recession, I lose my job. And it's like, you know, there's, there's things that you, could, you may have learned to expect, this loss, these major losses, that's a huge whale. People are mourning that, these major losses. But there's such a thing as divine timing and universal um, compassion and mercy. And I feel like instead of fighting against this, because that's your energy at the very top, and mentally stressing yourself over it and wondering and panicking, how the hell am I going to get myself out of here? And looking at the signs and seeing them as evil and bad, Realize that the best thing that you can do right now is to accept the current status quo, not accept and accept defeat, but surrender into this all-loving, compassionate hand that is looking out for your best interests at all times. Look, you have the whole world. It's like, look how this feminine energy is holding the entire world in her hands. The entire world includes all every single one of us. So we have Queen of Pentacles. Do you see how she's lifting up that coin at the top of her head? I truly feel like this is um, spirit, angels, guides, guardian, or a person lifting you up and protecting you because you are the treasure. But what you don't want to do is you don't want to fight against that. This is Five of Swords. Five of Swords is, look, I don't know if you can see that, but she's been fighting and she hurts herself in that fight and everyone's like concerned. So you don't want to fight against this. It's your fear that makes you vulnerable to getting hurt. But it's like if you surrender to it, no one would have gotten hurt, including you, and you're almost expecting yourself to get hurt. So moving forward into the future, Spirit says, work with me because I am carrying you. And you also have the Emperor card here saying that I'm carrying you into a more stable, loving, compassionate, secure environment that you can, a new, a new realm of predictability that you can count on and that you can enjoy. You have the Emperor card here and you also have the Empress energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's this new relationship, new connection, new union. So that brings me to the next part, which I want to focus on your love life for Leo. And I think you've been spending too, a lot of time by yourself, Leo, or a lot of time in your head. You have a lot of deep feelings. The Queen of Cups just came up reversed. There's a lot of feelings. A lot of feelings. I feel like you feel like you're... When it comes to your love life. Yeah. Okay, so can we get some advice, please? Okay, no advice from that deck. I clearly said that they're not going to get advice from that deck. Okay, fine. 
What about Wisdom of the Oracle? This is a yes. Oh my goodness. I feel like, didn't I shuffle from this deck from you already? Maybe this is just your deck right now. Advice for Leo when it comes to love, for love life. Okay. So. Hmm. Perfect. Um, you probably can't see this, but that's fine. So I feel like, Leo, when it comes to your love life, you just feel like six of wands here, nine of pentacles, and two of swords. This is like deadlocked, energy that's deadlocked. Like no one can move anywhere, so no one wins. It's energy that combats itself against itself. It's fighting against itself. It Also, I'm getting this energy of it's suppressed, meaning that you might be suppressing yourself. You might be squashing certain issues, pushing certain issues down, and they want to keep popping up and you keep putting it down. No, 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 don't come up. And it keeps popping up. It's like trying to keep an inflatable toy under the water. It's going to keep finding its way up. So just let it pop up. But I feel like with that, you you look like, I, I lost the battle. I lost the war. Or I'm not going to be cherished. I'm not going to be valued. I'm going to lose this. You know, all of this would be for nothing. And I'm going to be left on my own devices. I'm going to left to fend for myself. I'm going to be all alone, isolated. No one to share this with. No one to enjoy life with. And that's just simply not the case. Or maybe you feel alone and isolated in your relationship. It's just simply not the case. So you end up deadlocking yourself because every you expect the worst and you almost become almost boastful and loud or obnoxious and it almost pushes people away or maybe your your heart is blocked so you can't um, be compassionate and be considerate of other people so literally what's happening here advice is allow things to just be chaotic it'll allow things to just be chaotic and then also conflict. So there's been conflict written all over your cards. I'm almost seeing you just stop fighting. Like you just stop fighting out against the universe. Stop fighting against other people. Stop fighting, stop fighting, stop fighting yourself. It's making you anxious. And when you stop fighting and go into that Empress energy and just sit in that shell, everything falls apart. But more importantly, you have peace. In all of that chaos and conflict, things that is that you can't even control you surrender to the unknown. You surrender to not having to win the battle, win the win the war. Everything cleans itself up. You have to ask yourself, why am I fighting? Why? Like, why am I fighting against you? Why am I fighting against him or her? Why? Why? And then that's when you come to the edge and you can just trust fall into the arms of the universe, back into the hands of the Empress energy, the universe who's going to catch you. So let's go ahead and shuffle from the Romance Angels Oracle deck when it comes to your love life for Leo. These readings are, um, this card wanted to jump out. These readings are beautiful to do, but they're also really energetically exhausting. Um, I'm going to enjoy resting tonight. Okay. So your cards, my love, are pay attention to the red flags, but that's been your problem. I feel like the reason why this card is showing up is because you're overly paying attention to the red flags. You're seeing certain things as red flags and you're being triggered by it or panicked by it. Or let's say there are red flags and you just see it as doom and gloom and you start fighting for to fix it. And spirit is just like, literally, stop fighting. Stop fighting and heal. You have healing, family issues, and you also have retreat. So this is saying, I do not wish to fight with you guys anymore. And something about that, putting that sword down almost makes you feel like you're going to get stabbed when you least expect it. Like someone's going to say, say something. But it's also healing aspects of yourself that take certain things personally. Like let's say there's a loss. You realize that that loss had nothing to do with you. Most, most times it didn't have anything to do with you. A loss is, you know, sometimes it's the universe. Sometimes it's a person doesn't know who they are, what they want, or whatever the case is. But I'm just seeing that you, while you're retreating, you're retreating into yourself. And retreat also means stop fighting. 
It means lay down low. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy is, um, I'm sorry, Leo. This the hottest guy ever just walked across the street without his shirt on, and it distracted me. <laughs> um, sorry about that. You can tell, like, I am a woman of flesh and blood. Anyways, so, whew. okay, so retreat is about totally pulling down and stop wanting to fight and stop engaging in the fight, stop engaging in the conflict. And then just be innocent. Children are the card of innocence. They don't want to fight with other people. They cry when they fight. So they don't want to fight with other people. Children don't normally walk around fighting unless there's a problem in internally in their root that needs to be healed. And if you find that there's people fighting, there's a root. There's a something that needs to be addressed and taken care of. It's like just go into the space of innocence where you're not fighting with anyone. You're not even engaging in the fight. You've almost surrendered to it. This allows the universe to do with it what it will. I'm getting the sense of reconciliation. Well, duh, because it's here. But reconciliation in chemistry. This is things that are broken apart through the chaos and the conflict coming back together. And the chemistry is what pulls them back together um, in your partnership, in your union. So you just want to enter back into that space of peace and play. And what the universe will do is that it says that when you are playful, when you are joyful, and you're happy, and your vibration is high, you naturally attract. You Naturally, you attract the things that it is that you're looking for and that you need. Not by being desperate and fighting for them, but by flowing and surrendering to it. So, look, emotionally, emotional healing, the bleeding heart. Also, you have communicate with your angels. I feel like that you, you really should be open to a miracle, but that happens when you surrender. Raise your vibrations. See, oh, my gosh. Look, let go of anxiety. That was your first thing that I picked up for you. Take time for yourself, a.k.a. retreat. So that's what it is I'm seeing for you. Leo's for the month of of. of you know, the next 28 to 30 days, but right now, if you're watching, you're subscribed to my channel, it's for the month of April. Um, but I just feel like when you stop fighting and you allow yourself to heal, when you allow yourself to ground and you take some time for yourself and you communicate with your angels, I feel like the more, the times in my life where I battled with people and things, I just was like, I gave up. I gave up. The, I'm not a fighter. I'll fight if I have to. Don't get me, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. But... I'm na naturally not a fighter, and people naturally do not want to fight with me because they have too much to lose by losing me. And I'm a very open-minded, forgiving, and compassionate person, and very fair. Um, but the times when I find that there's conflict and chaos, I just stop fighting that battle. I give that battle over to the universe, and I speak with my angels, communicate with your angels, what it is that I need and this helps raise my vibration. It helps me to stop being anxious about it and stop letting it block my blessings and block my flow. And I take time for myself in that in-between time in order for everything to heal itself. And when the time comes, guess what? I always get a phone call from that person being like, Jess, can we talk? And they're way more open-minded. They're way more considerate. Um, and also, same thing with me. And one last card that I'm going to shuffle for you is the gift from the universe that they want to give to you that the universe wants to give to you. Wow. It is not healthy for you to fight all of these battles on your own. It is not healthy for you to be so anxious and looking at these signs and seeing them immediately as bad or toxic or whatever. They may be toxic. They may foretell the, you know something that you don't want to see happen, but it's not healthy for you to absorb that and internalize it and panic from that space. Then we have make it gods. This means stop striving and doing everything all on your own. You have to be able to release and surrender and be like literally in the will of harming no one. That means that if I truly have best interests 
And if I'm setting positive intention, my intention isn't going to hurt anybody. So I am not going to set intention or hurt anyone with my words, with my intention, or with anything, my will. So you have to surrender it to the universe and say, like, if what I want hurts anyone or hurts myself, I release it. So that, that your karma can be clear, so that energy can be clear, so that things can be abundant. Which is the next card? Abundant. Ow! Damn it, did you see that? <laughs> that just hit me in my head, but let this message hit you in your head. So this ne <laughs> this charm, and I'm, I swear to you guys, I said this in someone else's reading, but I'm not self-promoting, I'm not selling right now. Um, I'm just telling you why I'm wearing this necklace and what it represents. So I just released, and I'm going to be releasing, a jewelry line. And what this goddess symbol represents, this thing hit me so hard in my head, you guys. But what this goddess represents is it's the Venus of Wollendorf. She has big boobs, big belly, big butt. And she represents feminine energy, goddess energy that is abundant and always giving to us and always providing for us actual abundance. It's when I lifted this card up is when that charm went and smacked me right in the head. And I feel like that's the message that needs to come to you, smacks you right in the head, is that this universe has, and this earth that we live in is abundant and feminine energy receives. She doesn't have to fight, strive, or force anything. It comes to her because, she, and she receives what she wants to receive because she knows she's worthy of receiving it. She doesn't need to be perfect in the eyes of this small frame or whatever. She is who she is and she is vibrant and succulent and luscious and juicy and that's the world that she wants to create for herself and that's the world that she is creating for herself. So allow yourself to be poured into. That's why I have this crescent moon upside down because it's like the, the universe giving, filling its cup up, filling its cup up and pouring all of it and it hangs right in the solar plexus and then pours into the sacral chakra and then pours into the root, the root chakra. So it's about your ability to receive. And some of you guys need to get knocked in the head with that. <laughs> you need to remember really, really strongly. It says, Divine Beloved, please show me. This means don't look at those signs as red, like red flags as bad things. Look at it as the universe saying, follow me to the source of abundance. Follow me to the root of abundance. Please show me how to fully receive, fully deserve, to feel fully deserving to receive. I release my ego's plan, that's what you want, your will, and am open to being a vehicle for abundance. That means that when I allow myself to, to receive, I am a re like a receptacle. Is that the right word? A, it just flows right through me, flows right through me. And Leo, you're... For your month, it's about being open to receiving and being filled up all the way to the top. Nourishment on all levels, especially when it comes to relationships. So instead of panicking panicking about this, have peace and be, be surprised, pleasantly surprised by what the universe can do. Not by you holding on to this relationship or holding on to these pieces of the puzzle that are falling apart, but by allowing the, piece of the pieces of the puzzle to fall apart so that you can be filled Brand new, whole, abundant. All right, my love. So that's your reading for the, for the month. I hope that that message makes sense. Please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you aren't already. Not only do I post videos like this often, but I go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I talk about all the planets, all of what's going on in the stars, and I allow you, it gives you the chance to plan for your week your life, your future, all of those things. And it can also give you the opportunity to connect with a really awesome tribe of authentic spiritual beings that are expressing themselves and learning and sharing and growing in their own journeys. Until then, I send you all my love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.